Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the next video on this thing. So, um, as a part of the NASCAR community, which I am, if you guys didn't know, because I post videos, that's simply the only reason why. I barely even like how it is now, but here we go. This is going to be my NASCAR Heat 4 wish list. Uh, um, so I've got a couple things I kind of wanted added from to this year's game, but it was never added, so they need to add it now, or else this game is gonna flop, eventually. So, um, here's a couple things I kind of want to get fixed. So, first thing I want is day-to-night transitions. Yeah, day-to-night transitions. Literally just that. That needs to happen. I really feel like we need to make the racing a bit more realistic sh because I shouldn't be running a 200 lap race around Daytona and the times never change. The only time I see changing is outside my window and that is it. Um, the second thing I wanted fixed is um, red flags from like an oil getting on the track or red flag for weather or something like that um yeah just to just to have that f1 aesthetic because i really do like how f1 did it and they had um red they had rain i mean of course it didn't bring on a red flag because right, i mean they take, never take, had take. red flags for rain they just keep run, running through it and they just switch to wet tires they don't do that with nascar so i figure yeah, why not add top. rain to it and then also, really if there that. is a rain delay or something like that, um, you don't have to wait through the entire red flag to wait for it to stop raining. Instead, what you should do is you should be able to skip that and then head back to the race. And that should change how the track it actually goes. Because if there is rain on the track, it, the track will be a bit more slicker. I guess when uh, you go back to green so it would definitely change how the track um goes and Careful. then I think next thing I wanted added was a K&N or ARCA series instead of the dirt series so as you guys know the dirt series is in this game it is a extra series that I don't really like I don't I mean, I'm not the, I'm not hating it because I actually found it really fun. Is doing a fantasy, well, some of the tracks were real, but mainly a fantasy dirt track series. I thought it was really fun, but I feel like we need to get something new in there, an Arca series or a K and N, like I mentioned. Those would be two really cool ones. Just try. To, I mean, I think they're more than likely going to try to get an Arca one for next season. I think they just knew that people wanted a dirt tour. Or just some extra series there, but really there should be an Arca series next year. Um, next thing I wanted added is let me think. Oh, DNFs. So AI DNFs are something that happen if you do an endurance race, um, like at Daytona or Atlanta, any track. Uh, you can see AI's DNFing. If their car blows up or they blow a right tire and they get damaged, it's too it's too big to fix. And they can't get it fixed within the 5 minute clock. They don't go behind the wall, which I wish they did. Like I'm not saying pit crew should be out there, but if their car is still running, they should be put behind the wall. I mean, I still think it would be cool if we saw pit crew coming to push it behind the wall but I mean it is what it is um, also you have you can also DNF kinda like NASCAR 15 where DNFing was a thing that could happen so yeah if you guys played 15 you guys know what I'm talking about next thing I wanted added was a leaderboard ticker and interval system like they had on NASCAR the game 2011 um, I thought this was really cool that they added this. We haven't seen it since 2011. I really wish it carried through though, but it did turn into that little um, 
in front and behind interval thing. You guys know what I'm talking about if you guys played those games. But I really would love if they added that back on 2011 the game, give you the ability, or not 2011 the game, but I really love if they added that back onto Heat 4. And they give you the ability to switch between interval and who's in front and who's behind. Uh, let me think. Another thing I wanted added was a track map. I feel like people have been begging for a track map since Heat 2 was on, was about to come out, and here we are, two years later, and it still is not in the game. I know it's not realistic. A track map, far from being realistic. I don't really mind not having a track map at this point, because you should be knowing what the corners are at every track. If you've played at least two or three NASCAR games, you guys should know what the track layout is. Now, I feel like the only excuse you're going to have is if you're playing the Roval, because you don't know really where that turn's going to come in. But, honestly, that track still isn't that hard to do, even without a track map. And then, I can understand Sonoma for next year. I'm definitely going to be practicing the Sonoma track. It's a new layout, so i got to work on that. I think that's it for that. So next one I'm moving on to is um a little bit more of a strategy on pit road with the AIs. Like you guys see in oh I'm also gonna add as well um a little bit more spotter information because this kind of ties into spotter information as well. Cause we get a lack of that. So firstly the AIs pit strategy it's so predictable. Like, they get down to what? Like, five laps to go on fuel, and then they pit real quick, and then that's it. But what I really would like to see is if we can get a. Like, a better pit strategy for the AI. So, for example, if we have a caution with 30 to go. And they're down about 20 laps on field. Do they wait? Do they anticipate more cautions and come out? And if it doesn't happen, what? <laughs> they're going to have to pit. It just is like a big what if. But I feel like it should definitely be added. It gives a bit more competition with the AIs. And also, another thing I really wish they added, like I mentioned before, I started talking about the AI's pit strategy spotter information that needs to be a bit more better. I mean, I online leagues, not much you can do about that. You already are talking to the people. Well, at least I am. But on offline, your spotter doesn't help you out too much. I feel like the one neat thing, though, that the that this game allowed you to do was have it go into your headset so you could hear who's on your inside who's on your outside um but i really wish for next year's game they like they do something like f1 and they let you click like uh i don't know like up on the d-pad or something like that because that's not a button they use and let me make sure they don't options where there it is controls yeah there's nothing for up on the d-pad so maybe add that is a um, thing for the d-pad just be like talk to crew chief is like down on the d-pad talk to spotters up on the d-pad and then you give they give you information back like if you talk to the crew chief like what time is my um, is the person behind me running this could help you out and where am I slower than the person behind me and what time is the person in front of me running? Yada yada yada. You guys know what I mean. So maybe they give you a bit more information on that, and also they're a bit more like they tell you what is happening behind you and what is happening in front of you. Like they say three back, two back. Um, guy on the outside is gonna get a run at tracks like Daytona and Talladega, where you need to block that line and get back to the bottom. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about, which actually, thankfully I relayed what I was going to say into this, because that helped me better remember, but they really do need to have the AIs just give you a bit more room when you're on the outside, because they really don't give you any room at all. You have to stay in a straight line 
and hope that you don't hit the wall, and that's really dumb. I get that the AIs also are trying to arc out the corner, except they're on the bottom. But they need to give just a teensy weensy bit more room than that, because they don't give you enough. Like, you literally are going to hit the wall 9 out of 10 times, or maybe at least a 6 out of 10. Kind of depends on if you know what you're doing, and I sometimes don't. So, yeah, those are a couple things. I want to add in a NASCAR Heat 4, and yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.